Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a quick review of off-roading with the e-bikes. This is for the Electric X Premium. We camped near Fruta, Colorado, uh, which is near Grand Junction. Uh, it was a beautiful area. Uh, we're leaving the uh, actual camping site to go for this bike ride. I was hesitant at first. Uh, my wife convinced me. She said, hey, let's bring the bike. So we had to take two SUVs. Usually you go camp and we can do everything with one SUV. And at first I was like, no, well, let's just, if we're going to take one, we'll just take one of the e-bikes and leave the other two because we're going to have to take two SUVs. Anyway, we ended up taking both of them. And Grand Junction area is uh, quite a minute from our house, probably about five, six hours if I remember right. We would actually stopped in Idaho Springs uh, for the night before and hung out at the uh, Sprint, hot springs and all that stuff and went out to eat. Anyway. So we took these bikes down here. I had a Rad Mini, uh, the Rad Mini version 4, the final version of the Rad Mini by Rad Power. I had a $700 Zenroll e-bike off of Amazon that my son rode, and I rode the Electric X Premium. So the first things we actually did, I did, was uh, lower the pressure. Now, if you've seen some of my old videos, you know I had bad luck one time when I did that when I was on a road trip to Seattle with my old Electric XP 1.0. I, and basically, I had lowered the pressure and forgot to put it back up and went and did city riding, came off a curb and did some sh got some shark bites in the tube. Whatever, not the bike's problem, my fault. Anyway, so lowered the tubes, uh, lowered the pressure in the tires somewhat. And um, we hopped on these roads. She was worried at first about riding on these roads because, you know, coming in, they were rough in the SUVs. I said, don't worry, it's not the same on a bike uh, because, you know, it's you just ride one side smooth, the other side smooth. There's plenty of room to ride on. There's no problem. More thing was about traction, so that's why you lower the bike pressure. Okay, pros of Electric X, uh, X Premium. The best thing about this bike is taking it camping with you. This bike was awesome. Uh, I don't like it as a city bike, and that's, I, you know, you've heard me say that a lot of times, but taking this bike camping, this bike was great. That's where it really hit its stride. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, um, jumping off the of stuff and, you know, like serious series, um, you know, off-road bike riding. No, 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 just cruising along. This could be an RV park. This could be BLM land. This could be anywhere where there's a little dirt trail or whatever. Take this bike with you. It is actually easy to ride on that. It's got enough juice. It had no problems getting up hills with the tire pressure lowered some, not a lot, just some. I had great grip. It felt solid to ride. I also had the Giddy Up, an aftermarket seat by Giddy Up on here that they had sent me to uh, test out, which made for a super comfy ride even more so. Um, all the bikes did great. Um, even the Rad Mini, which has more of the three inch, uh, more of a street tire kind of, uh, it did great with the tire, up tire pressure lowered on it. And I think what benefits it too, also it's a hub motor, but it's a more powerful hub motor. The Zen Roll, my son rode that one. That's the bike that I do 32 to 35 miles an hour costs like 700 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. That one did great too, but my son probably weighs about 120 pounds. So with him on it, it did great. So this is just, uh, we rode our bikes two days that we were camping, both days that we were actually camping. And uh, one of the things, uh, the first day I didn't really take any video. The second day I was like, oh, let me mount the GoPro and let's just ride. So all the GoPro footage is actually from the front of my um, Electric X Premium. And like I said, I had no issues out of the X Premium. It had so much juice left after riding it too. The throttle was great on it on off-road. It's really good. It did really great on off-road actually. Like I said, in the cities, the throttle is a little, I could, it could use a little more oomph. But on these type of roads like this, it, it felt like it was just right. Um, where, this, where this bike flourishes is, is when you don't have to continuously uh, switch the gears. So you get out here and you start riding, you put it on, say, level three, and you ride, you get up to whatever top gear you feel comfortable with. It could be three, four, five, whatever it is. And you leave it in and you can ride and you can cruise and you can really enjoy your ride and really enjoy uh, nature around you. So I think that's where it really flourishes is stuff like this. Now, where I don't like it is when I'm actually in, when I would take it in a city and, you know, you're, you know, I got a stop sign here, you got a stoplight here, and you got to continuously up and down, up and down the, the, uh, the gears stuff like that. But uh, out here, take this out in the country with you. If you're doing a long distance ride and you start getting into your good gears and you're not just always having to change gears all the time, it's great. And then when you do have to drop the gear, say you're going up a hill, like there were hills here. Um, it's not a big deal. It's, it's, you, you understand what you're doing. It's, it's cake. Um, 
So the mid-drive motor did actually really well. Like I said, it felt solid. All my bikes felt solid, but I actually enjoyed myself a lot more on the electric X premium out here. Um, I, I would get another mid drive bike for like a camping bike, but it'd have to be a lighter weight one for me personally, just so, cause sometimes I don't always take my big SUV. I'll take the smaller, like the Nissan kicks. So I'd like, I wish I know they won't, but you know, it'd be cool if like, say if they did do a mid drive, they did a mid drive in like an electric XP frame. Uh, that would be pretty cool too. A lighter weight bike like that, that you could take with you to get, you know, a certain amount of uh, mileage. So like both, we went riding both these days. We rode for uh, quite a while, all of us. And, um, and it was up and down hills and it's also through the sand. And we had so much battery left. I had like still five bars. It was still showing five bars on my actual e-bike. So that was really cool. Uh, my sons would fluctuate, you know, like the electric XP 1.0 would do and the Zen rolls kind of similar to that, but with shocks and a little, I think the motors unlocked a little bit more, but it's very similar in that, you know, it goes up and down. My son would be like, Hey dad, I only got two bars left. I said, turn it on and off. So you turn it on and off um it shows four bars okay so you lost a bar it says like no because he ain't down to two bars on that bike because he doesn't weigh anything my spouse she's on the rad mini as anyone knows rad mini are the rad power uh, products they always have good batteries my electric X premium with that dual battery on it oh it did great i could have i could have kept this bike i could have went riding for like three been camping for like say a week and still probably had plenty of juice for every day i went out for my little we went out for our little rides and we really did have fun everyone uh, with our e-bikes out here like i said just remember to um to lower the tire pressure and then um bring it back up later um once you get back to your you know you're getting ready to leave so you don't be hopping out on the city and have too low pressure uh we were checking out camping sites for possible future places to camp this area that we're in was a beautiful area there's so much to camp as you saw you saw some people pulling up and stuff uh, we got there there was hardly anybody there except for one spot where there was a group family camping it had a really good spot actually uh, I wish I could have took a video of it, but people were camping there. I didn't want to invade their privacy. You know what I mean? But anyway, where we camped was beautiful too. But this was great. We had we had a really good time down here. So go check out one thing. Um, go down to Grand Junction to to Fruta Fruta Colorado area, which is right outside of Grand Junction, like a suburb of it. There's so many cool camping spots you can do and stuff. Take an e-bike with you. Take a dirt bike with you. Take a mountain bike. Take whatever with you. It was pretty peaceful out here too. Uh, we camped. We had a good time. The weather was great. Uh, found found some a scorpion, by the way. It was a little chilly for it, but we actually found one. I picked it up and moved it out of the way. I didn't want to step on it. Anyway, this is like a camping site right here, but a lot of them overlooked uh, like a canyon and all this stuff, so it was really cool. But as far as Electric X Premium goes, this is a good um, off-road bike in regards to like camping, taking a camping. If you've got little trails like this, little roads, uh, little rough roads like this, you can ride this bike all day and go check out stuff. And driving in was totally different than when uh, in the SUVs than riding our bikes out here. It's just like going from a, motor, a car to a motorcycle to a scooter. You, your perspective changes just, you know, with the speeds and everything like what's going on around you or seeing stuff you didn't see on a, a different kind of vehicle. Anyway, we had a great, try, great time. The Electric X Premium did really well. Um, I'm going to be looking at getting another e-bike also um, in the future. I actually thought I'd have a review of a new scooter, uh, but... I guess my scooter got damaged, another scooter I had. Not the one I already did the review on, but I had another one coming, a different kind. must have been damaged because they're giving me a refund and it got sent back, so I don't know what happened with it. Which may be a good thing because I might just go ahead and get another uh, um, e-bike even quicker. I don't know. I'll think about it. But there will be another review of an e-bike and some more reviews and stuff coming up. So anyway, if you like the Electric X Premium, check, check it out. Like I said, this is where it flourishes. This RV, do, doing the RV and the camping and all that stuff, it's great for that. As a city bike, not so well. It's just not built for cities like that. For like, I'm talking stop and go. Take Seattle, take Denver, take anywhere like that. It's not built for that. It's too heavy. And you have to go through the gears pretty quick on it and stuff like that. You're better off with a hub motor. But going out here, places where you can do long distance, you don't got to keep going through the gears all the time. You get to your sweet spot and you just ride and get good exercise too. It is awesome at that. It was awesome with those big old fat tires on it. Uh, the power was definitely adequate. It did great going up hills and everything with me on it at, you know, around 200 pounds and stuff. So it did awesome. So anyway, like I said, this is in Grand Junction area, Fruit of Colorado. I'll leave links in the description for um, all my products that I used in here. I'll leave a link for the seat and everything like that. 
So I'll leave links in the description for all the products that I use, the Giddy Up Seat and stuff like that. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Once again, this is a quick off-road review at Electric X Premium and near Grand Junction in Fruta, Colorado. Everyone, thanks for watching. Get out there. Have fun. Enjoy your time. Summer's coming up. Frugal Panda out.